What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up? Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I ain't forget about you. I did not forget about my water signs. It's just that I was super, super tired when I did the who's spying on you and water signs. You know, I ain't get around to y'all. I was tired, y'all. But I'm here now. I'm here now. I'm going to do it now. What's up with y'all? Let me just burn this Grace candle. This is the Grace Jones candle by Boy Smells. It smells so good. That's what I'm going to burn right now. But yeah, this is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's the order I'm going to go in. Take the messages as you wish. Don't force it if it's not resonating with you. This is for water, sun, moon, Venus, and rising signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right. Cancer, you up first. Let's take a look at this person that's currently spying on you. What is it that they may want to say? Why are they spying on you? What are their intentions? How are they feeling about you? Things like that. Whatever needs to come out. This may resonate with a friend, a co-worker, a family member, a love interest. Take the messages as you wish. Cancer. Spirit, tell us about this person that's currently spying on my cancer. What is it that this person wants with cancer? Why are they spying on cancer? What is it that they want with cancer? Why are they spying on cancer? Tell us about this person that's currently spying on cancer. I need two more shuffles for this person spying on cancer. Let's see, cancer. All right. Oh, this person is heartbroken. That's the truth. The truth is, is that this person feels stuck. They feel heartbroken. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. It looks like this person is ready to go in a new direction. This may be someone that y'all on the verge of separating from. There's a codependent um, situation going on between you and this person, Cancer. Some of you dealing with a Scorpio or Aries or an Earth sign. But there's some codependency here. This person may have like an unhealthy attachment to you and vice versa, Cancer. You may have an unhealthy attachment to this person. I do feel like you both are attached to one another. Clarify this nine of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, ace of pentacles in the reverse. Nine of pentacles reverse to the ace of pentacles reverse. Very clarify. Ooh, King of swords reverse. Some of you may have arguments with this person as well, where there's a lot of things that's said that's very hurtful. Whether that be the way you respond to them or the way you talk to them, the way they respond to you, vice versa. Yeah, I'm getting strong Earth and Scorpio and Aries. Yeah, and they go that King of Swords in the reverse again and the Queen of Wands reverse. Some of you may argue with this person a lot due to some suspicions that you may have of them or they may have of you. That's why this person is spying on you. They may be spying on you because they up to no good and they suspect that you up to no good as well. You know, when somebody, especially in romantic relationships, you know, when someone starts cheating, nine times out of ten, they start getting suspicious about you because they that's their guilty conscience. If I'm doing something, then, you know, they may be doing something too. That's how it works, you know, so... Some of you are dealing with somebody that was doing something and they could be very suspicious of you because they're doing something. Vice versa, Cancer, you may have your suspicions towards this person because you're doing something. I do feel like a lot of things um, were said between you two that was very hurtful. You two have a lot of past history is what I'm getting. This is someone that misses the way things used to be between you two in the past. So maybe there was like happier moments. Uh, happier times between you two in the past, but things just kind of took a turn here. This person is trying to be patient. They trying to be grounded. They trying to ground their emotions. Uh, like I said, this is someone that you may argue and fight with often. 
And I feel like it's just going in a circle at this point. Again, with the unhealthy attachment here. There's a codependent relationship here between you and this person. And it's been going on for some time here. It's been going on for some time here. Some of you may even live with this person. But this is who's spying on you. This person is trying to keep tabs on you to see what you're up to. Because things have been very unpleasant between you two recently. Yeah. I feel like this person's intention is to be with you. They want to be with you. This person is keeping their options open right now. This is also someone that may be trying to escape. So somebody here is trying to escape their problems with you, vice versa, cancer. You could be trying to escape your problems that you have with this person. But somebody here could even be overindulging in drinking or just so, being social, going out, going to parties, clubs, things like that. Somebody here is trying to get their mind off the other person. And they could be doing that by using substances or just going out often to mask their pain. Somebody here is trying to mask their pain. Somebody here is trying to you know, bring happiness into their life, but, you know, you ain't gonna find love in the club. <laughs> Somebody here needs to hear that. Somebody here goes out a lot. Cancer, this could be you or this person. Cancer, you are showing up as the queen of cups in the reverse in this situation. I feel like this person is coming back towards you with the eight of cups reverse after you two spent some time apart. This person wants to come towards you and they want to be lovey-dovey with you. Two of cups, ten of pentacles, ten of cups. This is somebody that wants a lovey-dovey situation with you. But a lot of you could have found out this person lied about something. You don't trust them. So the whole thing here with this situation is whoever this is spying on you, they don't trust you. Okay? Yeah, nine of pentacles reverse and a nine of cups reverse. A lot of codependency. It's like this person is codependent on you for many reasons. And vice versa. Like I said, Cancer, you could be codependent on this person too. It's like you guys have an unhealthy attachment to one another. It may be very hard for you to say goodbye to this person and release them even though you know it's the best thing for you. Cross watching for Cancer, you too. It may be very hard for you to move on. Yeah, there you are, Cancer the Chariot. I feel like it's very hard for you to move forward and move on without without this person because you know you could have been planning a future planning a life with this person ten of cups ten of pentacles this is damn this is definitely like a family situation a living situation a home establishing a real solid union here with the two of cups i feel like that was your intention that was their intention but there's a lot of trust issues here somebody got caught lying about something and also it's just like you guys talk nasty to each other. I feel like whoever this is, y'all argue a lot and y'all say really hurtful or mean things to one another. Or one person in this situation just hurts the other a lot when, you know, arguments start. Cancer, this person is going to want to come towards you and give to you. But I'm telling you, somebody here is like abusive. King of Swords reverse, the Emperor reverse. Somebody in this situation definitely is verbally abusive and things could lead to, you know, a physical altercation if they haven't already. So y'all be careful with this. Yeah, I feel like if this person just, if they come towards you and, and they're calm, because I see somebody here trying to balance their emotions and their temper. You know, you can, you can listen to this person. You can accept their apology. You guys can have a conversation here. But it's in your best interest to walk away from this person. This is a karmic partner. Yeah, this is coming to an end. The tower, ace of cups, reverse, ace of pentacles, reverse, eight of wands, reverse. Yeah, this situation is toxic. There's a lot of back and forth. And, you know, what's so crazy is this person may block you. You may block them. And then y'all end up unblocking each other. It's like a lot of back and forth. One minute we arguing, the next minute we good. One minute you got me blocked, the next minute you talking to me. One minute we gonna work this out, the next minute you accusing me. One minute I'm the love of your life, the next minute... I'm a stupid ass bitch who can't stand me. You know, like that's the situation that I am reading. And I feel like a lot of you just realizing that this shit is draining. It's very toxic. It's very karmic. And it needs to come to an end. It's going to come to an end. The tower is, an, is um, it's like, it's inevitable. That's what I'm trying to say. It's inevitable. So it's like something that is just bound to happen. The situation is really draining for the both of you. But that's who's spying on you. They don't trust you, okay? But like I said, you guys going to keep this going. Y'all going to keep going back and forth. Cancel what y'all going to do. Um, looks like the universe is trying to shut that shit down. I don't see any real solid offers or any real forward movement or progression being made anyway. And there's definitely third parties in this situation. And there has been third parties in the past too, which has led to these trust issues in the first place. All right, Scorpio. 
Scorpio, you up next. What's going on, Scorpio? Spirit, tell us about this person that's currently spying on my Scorpio. Tell us about this person currently spying on Scorpio. What's going on with this person that's watching Scorpio? Tell us about this person spying on Scorpio. Two more shuffles. What's up, Scorpio? What's going on? Let's see. What's up, big sport? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, Scorpio. I don't know if this is you or this is them. Okay, y'all take this as it resonates. But one person in this situation is grinding. One person is about their money. They're focused on work, their career, their finances. Somebody here is focused on, you know, building something for themselves somebody here could even be an entrepreneur work from home work for themselves somebody in this situation may also be very creative may uh draw write paint somebody here has a skill set that they are trying to um perfect like somebody here is perfecting their craft somebody here is very focused on what it is they do for work or what it is that they're passionate about and another person here is just stressed okay stressed and stubborn as hell some of you could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, a Virgo. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. But one person is stressed out about the other person, and the other person is just putting all their attention into work. So, you know, for some of you, if this is the person that's spying on you, that's putting all their attention in, on work here, you know, whoever's putting their attention on work, whether it's you or them, this person that's doing this, that's focused on work, it's like they want to ignore how they feel. Scorpio, for many of you, it could be you. You could be, you know, in full-blown work mode, which is fine, you know, get to the bag. But a lot of you are ignoring your feelings. And you could be trying to ignore your feelings by overworking, you know. So I do see that somebody in this situation is trying not to deal with their feelings and their emotions and they're burying their head in work. Somebody is making sure that they have a full work schedule so that they don't have to deal with their feelings here. I do see communication coming in from this person. Knight of Cups to the Eight of Wands. There's quick, fast communication that's going to happen between you two. So, Scorpio, you and this person will be speaking. Okay, somebody in this situation left, but there's communication coming in. Clarify this Five of Pentacles here. King of Swords reversed. The conversation may go left, though. Somebody here may get angry. Yeah, Scorpio, here you are. Death reversed. Some of you that have strong air in your chart, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or this person has strong air in their chart, or both of you. But this conversation is definitely going to go left here. Somebody's going to be stressed out. Somebody here in this situation is also trying to, you know, talk because it's like, let's talk. Let's work this out. Let's try to, you know, come to some kind of common ground, some kind of understanding. Like, let's just talk about this. And for whatever reason, the conversation is going to go left. Somebody here may say something hurtful, but someone's going to leave after this conversation is had, after this conversation is all said and done. Whatever it is that y'all need to talk about, it looks like somebody here is upset. Yeah, somebody here is definitely going to be upset here. Somebody here is also upset because they feel like another person in this situation was playing games with them, being a player, wasting their time, taking them for a fool here. Somebody here feels like they wasted their time as well. Or somebody here is ready to move forward, move on, because they feel like they wasted their time. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Earth sign um, or an Aries, Aquarius energy here. Yeah, more Aquarius energy here. You guys got the Ace of Swords reversed, the Star reversed, the Ace of Wands reversed, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this situation is not going to... Somebody here is trying to, you know, get on someone's good side again. But it's the conversation I'm telling you is going to go left here. Somebody's going to end up leaving. Yeah, one person wants a commitment. The other person is like, no, I need to avoid you. So you guys are not on the same page. Yeah, somebody here is trying to heal, but this is who's watching you. So this person could be saying that you betrayed them, you hurt them in some way, Scorpio, but this person is healing at the moment and they're watching you. And they could also be watching you to see if you're healing or if you're getting over them. This is somebody that y'all already had an ending with. Yeah, 
this person may be accusing you of lying and being sneaky about something, especially when it comes to your whereabouts, you traveling or whatever moves you make, who you with, where you going, who you going to see. Yeah, this person is a lot of trust issues between y'all. This situation is, you know, somebody here is getting upset. Temperance reverse, Queen of Swords reverse, King of Swords reverse. You both are getting upset with one another, actually. Somebody here is losing their cool, losing their temper, and they're going to walk away and just focus on themselves. Scorpio, here you are showing up as the King of Cups reverse. And we also have the Queen of Cups reverse, okay? Did we have the Queen of Cups reverse? I think we did. But King of Cups reverse, that's your energy, Scorpio. I feel like you care about this person deeply, but you may just know that this ain't going to work out for you. Clarify this King of Cups in a reverse here. Yeah, it's like you want to work together with this person. You really, somebody here is really praying for this to work out. But whoever they're trying to work things out with is 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 getting rejected. Somebody's love offer is getting rejected. It's like a love offer is being made with this Ace of Cups. But with the Eight of Cups here, someone's walking away. So there's a love offer being made, but someone is walking away from it. Someone is rejecting a love offer. And they're saying that that's fair and just because they feel like they're being manipulated. I told you, somebody here feels like their time was wasted or the person that they was um, dealing with was playing games. And, you know... It's like, I'm still attracted to you. You still make me smile. You still make me laugh. I think you're a dope person, but what you did to me was fucked up. And I'm not going to come. I'm not going to let you come back around and fuck, you know, fuck me over again. So somebody here just feels like they learned their lesson and they're not going to get played again. And you guys have the towel card here. This is coming to an end. Then. But I do feel like there may be a final, like spat or like an argument or something because i do see a lot of anger here with the temperance reverse fool reverse emperor reverse like this is just a lot of anger and i'm getting a lot of fire energy too so you and this person could have strong fire placements um or air or fire and air both of you have that in your play in your charts but a lot of fire energy here you know you're very passionate about your point they're very passionate about whatever point they're trying to make and I just see the conversation going left and things coming to an end. So this may be like your final uh, closure, your final conversation with this person. But this is coming to an end. Somebody is walking away here. Eight of Cups. But this is who's spying on you. It's like they're trying to heal, but they, they're watching you. Or vice versa, Scorpio. you trying to heal from this situation, but you're still watching them too. I feel like both of you check on each other from time to time. It's we being honest. I feel like it's both of y'all that watch each other. All right, Pisces. What's going on, Pisces? Spirit, tell us about this person that's spying on Pisces. Tell us about this person that's keeping tabs on Pisces. Why are they spying on Pisces? What are their intentions? What is it that they want to say? Tell us about this person spying on Pisces. Give me two more shuffles. Tell us about this person spying on Pisces. Whoever this is, they're hurt. They're hurting. They're hurting, okay? They want you to come back towards them and talk to them. This is somebody that's waiting for you to communicate to them. But neither one of you are giving to each other or the situation. We have both the King and the Queen of Pentacles that came out. You both are marrying each other and you both have your backs uh, towards one another. So I just feel like they're not giving to this situation and neither are you. Clarify this King of Pentacles in a reverse for Pisces. Tell us about this person that's spying on Pisces. Clarify the King of Pentacles in a reverse. The Ace of Cups. Okay. Clarify this Ace of Cups. So somebody here wants to give a love offer, but they're holding back. Somebody here wants to express their feelings, but they're holding back. Pisces, we have the moon reversed. That's your energy. We have the knight of cups reversed. That's the truth. Ace of swords. So some of you, it's you. You're holding back from this person. Some of you are holding back from someone that you already had previous dealings with. This could be an ex of yours. 
You want to make a love offer to this person. That's the truth. You want to tell them how you feel. You still have feelings for them. That's the truth. But you're holding back. Knight of Cups reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, and the Hangman is somebody that's not taking any action. There's a love offer wanting to be made, but somebody here is just not taking any action. Some of you could be dealing with another Pisces or somebody with strong Pisces or Earth in their chart as well. Yeah, somebody here feels trapped. They feel blocked and they feel stuck in another situation. So somebody here could actually be in a relationship or a marriage with this four of wands energy. And it's like they feel trapped wherever they are. They want to make an offer, but they feel trapped. Somebody here could have married or um, really invested in a long-term relationship with a karmic. And they feel trapped and stuck in that situation. Yeah, somebody here is drained. They're being drained. They invested in a karmic partner. They're being drained. And they're tired. And they're just upset. Somebody here could have invested in an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, a Gemini, or a Leo. And they feel drained in that situation. And they're thinking about the other person that they feel like they betrayed. Somebody here feels like they betrayed someone and they can't reconcile with that person. So they might as well just keep their feelings to themselves. Somebody here breadcrumbed someone in a situation in the past and decided to invest in someone else. They're now having some sort of awakening and they're realizing that whoever they invested in is a karmic partner. And whoever they invested in is also draining them. Karmic partners will drain you, okay? Pisces, I feel like you miss this person. They miss you. Yeah, you two have some sort of unfinished business here. You want to work together with this person. This person's watching you, Pisces, but they want you to come and talk to them, okay? No arguments, no petty shit, no fighting. This person doesn't want to fight, but there's still some tension between you two. We have the Magician in the Reverse Why. Two of Cups reverse. Somebody here is not, y'all not on the same page. So some of you may be trying to come towards this person in peace or you want this person to come towards you in peace. But really, there's a hidden agenda here. Somebody here is still angry. There's multiple people involved in this situation and multiple people desiring the same person. Somebody here is trying to keep a fire sign away from the person that they feel like they betrayed and they can't reconcile with. That's the truth. Yep. So it's like, if I can't have you, nobody can. And that's the situation. If somebody's trying to keep a, a earth sign or a fire sign away from someone that they want to, but they can't have. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Lord have mercy. All righty, y'all. <laughs> Those were the messages. I adore y'all. Hope it provided you with some clarity. I'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you for watching. Peace.